I'm making an add-on device for DJI Mavic Air 2 drone, so I need a simple and lightweight solution. That's why I will use 80 85 which will greatly simplify the electronics part. For example, look at this servo being driven by this small IC without any need of external components except one resistor. If you buy 8985 from AliExpress, they come blank and you won't be able to program them using the Arduino IDE because they don't have the required bootloader. To burn a bootloader on the 8985 chip, you can use ASP or you can use any Arduino as an ASP. In this case, I will use Arduino Uno. In order to avoid keeping one of your Arduinos as an ASP, or even worse, rely on the unreliable breadboards to program your 8985s, you can just burn the micronucleus bootloader which will allow you to program your 8985s through USB. This HW260-8985 development board is a great tool. It's really cheap, this one was less than a dollar, and it's really useful. First connect the Arduino Uno and start the Arduino IDE. Go to File, Examples, Arduino ISP. Make sure you have the correct port and board selected. Then just upload the code to the connected Arduino Uno. Next unplug the Arduino Uno and connect it with the 8985 like in this diagram. Install the Digistamp drivers from this link. Download the files that will be used to burn the bootloader from this link. Go to File, Preferences and in the additional Boards Manager URLs, add this link in a new line. Then go to Tools, Board and open the Boards Manager. Search for Digistamp AVR and install the board library. Plug in the Arduino Uno back to your PC. Check which port is the Arduino Uno connected to. Edit the burn8085 bootloader.bat file with any text editor and change the COM port number with the port number of the Arduino Uno on your PC. Save the file and move it together with the 80.85 hex file to the Arduino IDE installation folder. Then just right click the burn8085 bootloader.bat file and click on run as admin. After a few seconds you should see a message like this. Now you can use the HW260 board to connect the 8085 directly to your PC. Place the 8985 into the 8 pin chip socket on the HW260 board. Make sure the dot notch of the chip faces the groove on the chip socket. Now prepare the code. Go to File, Examples, Basic and open the Blink example. Change the LED built in in the code with 1. Check if you have the correct board selected. Click Upload and once you see this message, connect the HW260 board to your PC. After the upload is done, the LED on the HW260 board should start blinking, one second on and one second off. This confirms that we successfully programmed the 8985 with our code, so we are done. Links for everything in this video are in the video description.